November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra Kilo Fox 7 Echo Tango X-Ray. Kilo Fox Shot 7 Echo Tango X-Ray, we've got you loud and clear. Welcome aboard the International Space Station, November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. Very good talking with you, sir. I'm uh, sitting on the summit of Saniam Pass in the uh, Cascades at 4,800 feet operating portable. Oh, that's great. That's great to talk to you, Dave. How's the view from up there? Well, I don't have the same same view that you have, but uh, it's gorgeous today. It, uh, uh, there's snow on the ground, and uh, winter is here for sure. Over. Oh, uh, that's that's great. Uh, I can't wait to uh, to feel the uh, to feel the breeze in my face again and, uh, and to smell the earth. Gosh, I can't. Uh, stop. I'm wondering uh, what uh, what my first uh, impression is going to be uh, after six months of uh, being inside this space. Well, we're excited to have you come back, but uh, we're going to miss our favorite ham up in space. How was the uh, spacewalk the other day? Over. Copy you loud and clear, sir. Um, just wanted to find out uh, how the uh, spacewalk went the other day. Over. I, I missed the first part of that question, Dave. Wanted to find out how the uh, spacewalk went the other day. Over. It went very, very well. Thank you. I'm actually here, right, right next to uh, Fyodor Yurchik in uh, the EV-1, uh, the, the uh, director, essentially the lead spacewalker. And they did a great job. They did a great job. It was a lot of hard work. Uh, and we got uh, we got a science platform outside now, universal science platform, uh, to operate some science experiments out there. So uh, they did a very, very good job. Thank you for asking. We are so proud of you guys, and uh, thank you for your hard work. Uh, much appreciated. Over. Absolutely, Dave. Uh, we, it's it's uh, certainly our pleasure, and it's a real, real thrill and a blessing, actually, to be in this position where we can fly aboard this uh, wonderful um, flying machine and it's uh, it's just been an incredible experience and while looking out the windows at uh, at Fyodor and Oleg outside working uh, we're literally we're just uh, 15 feet away from them while they're working and uh, it was just uh, surreal to uh, look out and see them floating in space. I bet it was a great view but I know it's a lot of work for the crew inside and the uh, crew outside did you post any uh, photos on your TwitPic uh, site? I've been away from internet. Over. I haven't done uh, of the EVA yet. Uh, I'll uh, hopefully maybe do that this evening or tomorrow morning. I'll tweet uh, tweet some uh, some pictures of the EVA. The guys did a great job, though. I have a, a quick question. I'm curious how you do that. Uh, do you have internet access? Over. Dave, you're blocked. Can you say again the question? Yeah, I think I'm catching you in between mountain peaks here. I was curious how you post on TwitPic. Do you have internet access? Over. I lost him. And I lost you again, Dave. You still have me? I still have you, sir. Uh, wondering how you post on TwitPic if you have internet access. Over. Uh, yeah, we have internet access, and uh, uh, so we have to, it's based on our KU band coverage, which is our broadband coverage, and it's not constant, it's not continuous, and so uh, you have to, I have to get the photos ready and my tweet ready and, uh, and then jump online while I've got coverage, and uh, it actually connects through a, uh, through a server at Johnson Space Center in Houston, and um, I just set everything down, and it's almost as if I'm logging into that computer. There's a little bit of a delay, and then I send it out that way uh, via, via Twitter and uh, Twitter. That's absolutely fascinating. I think I'm losing your pass. I'm in between, uh, I think you're in between mountain peaks here. Over. Okay, Dave. Uh, I don't know if I'll get another orbit in uh, this evening, but uh, I'll definitely catch you on a future orbit. It's sure been a pleasure uh, talking to you over these uh, last number of months and weeks. And uh, just hope to get the chance to meet you one day. I am as well, sir. But uh, you'll have a package at... Uh, 
at uh, the uh, uh, Kennedy Space Center, and uh, I've enjoyed talking with you as well. Travel safe, 73, over. Oh my God. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys for a new ham, um, what a thrilling experience to talk with him, and uh, totally awesome. He is, uh, um, he's really touched my soul and uh, my entire future in, in amateur radio will always reflect back on. Colonel Wheelock, Astro Wheels, operating November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, on the International Space Station. All right, back to reality, and uh, I'm going to be heading home, driving from Sisters back to Portland, sitting on uh, summit of San Yam Pass, about 4,800 feet, and uh, there's a little bit of a winter storm blowing in. It was actually snowing right before the... Uh, the QSO, so man, right, last little that was closing totally cool. on this video. I'm gonna take the camera off the mount and uh, so you can take a quick look at my antenna, which is sitting right up on top of the uh, roof here. Every once in a while, the um, reception was interrupted, and that's because this was a low angle pass, relatively about 26 degrees off the uh, horizon, and. I don't know the exact direction, but I'm sure I was catching him intermittently in between gaps uh, in the surrounding mountain peaks. So, man, again, that was totally cool. All right, I'm going to let you take a quick look outside my uh, truck so you can see the uh, antenna set up, and then I'm okay. Well, the there's road. the Yezu FT857D. That has been one trusty rig, and has given me a lot of fun and satisfaction on the air. There's my um, flip video camera always have that available and um, I'm operating from my truck I'm parked on a snow park uh, road right on the summit of San Yam Pass all right there you can see my trusty antenna the uh, diamond X30A dual bander on my homemade uh, mount sitting on my camera tripod right up there on the top of my truck and uh, great reception today did not let me down and there I'm operating with my you guys saw that earlier that's my 12 volt Anderson power pole little power cord right into the truck so Amateur radio operators out there following my channel. I've been listening to a podcast while I'm on the road. Um, great little podcast. I've been, been enjoying it. It's called QSO, and I'll put a link um, in the show notes down below. But uh, great, great podcast, and I've been learning a lot. Uh, this episode that I've been listening to is on D Star, so that's been been kind of fun. Got Ham Clock running on my Apple iPhone. And it's 23:52, so I'm a little bit south of Portland, which is where I had that pass located. Right, 90 so. minutes farther down the road on my way home to Portland, and I pulled over at Detroit Lake. I'm going to try and catch the 23:52 UTC pass. This should be a good pass if uh, Colonel Wheelock is on the air. At the maximum height above elevation will be 69 degrees midway through the pass. So we'll see if we can catch him uh, one more time. Almost was not able to film this if, if he's on the air. Low battery. Luckily I had a second backup battery ready to go. And I'm sitting um, right on the shore of Detroit Lake midway between uh, Sisters and Salem just finished coming off the San Yam Pass 90 minutes ago and I'm hoping that we'll get uh, Colonel Wheelock one more time before those guys go to bed on the International Space Station. 23.52, that's almost midnight their time, so I don't know if he's on the air, but if he is, it'll be fun to talk with him. 
November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra, Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. All right, well, I wasn't successful. And you know what, that's quite all right. I'm, I'm happy with that. Honestly, I've had more unsuccessful attempts than I've had successful attempts. And the thrill of talking with the International Space Station, or even just um, hearing Colonel Wheelock uh, reel off the call signs of other amateurs making contact is very exciting. And um, it's, it's inspirational. I, I enjoy it. And I will continue to make that effort and continue to advance my skills as a new ham and um, boy it's a lot of fun I, en I enjoyed the hobby great hobby all right well I appreciate you guys <laughs> tagging along with me on a nice rainy day I am uh, I'm gonna go outside and battle the rain put my gear away and head home to Portland hopefully a nice safe drive and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the kids and my wife Ooh, wet.